Hello again and welcome to the beer taster. Uh, I'm here today with a, quite a quite a different drink from compared to the last ones. Um, today we're going to be drinking a tropical IPA from Tiny Rebel. Tiny Rebel uh, is quite a popular one. Everyone, very very nice drink. Uh, I've had several of these drinks and I've actually tasted this one before. Uh, it's a Club Tropical. Um, very nice drink, 5.5%. Uh, again, it's got quite a golden haze to it. And it's, it's I believe it's, it's, let's have a look at here. It's a Club Tropical Aparte in a cap. No, it's quite a, nicely presented. In terms of taste itself, from what I remember, it's more like a, more like a mango-ish taste, with like, slightly like a pineapple type thing. Um... A fair while ago, I tasted it, but I, I remember it because I felt it was very nice. Uh, Tiny Rebel do several of these type of drinks. Very nice, very, very dated itself. Uh, in terms of preparation, again, I've got slight dents in the can. Doesn't really matter as long as it tastes all right. Um, I've tried this before. We may as well just get cracking straight onto the taste of it. Change cans, uh, cans, change. Uh, Glasses today. There we are. Mm. Just, just tastes like a like a squash, really. Um. Like a, similar to like an orange squash, but it doesn't taste like an orange. It's more like a man, mango-ish type taste to it. It's like, like a tad bit of pineapple. It is that flavour anyway. I'll just drink it is anyway, hold on. Mango, pineapple. And it's got like a... Yeah. Quite mango-y, pineapple-ish taste, but it's quite... It is obviously, again, more of a tropical taste to it. Very nice. Uh, the actual haze of it, it's more hazy, more light and uh, quite a nice colour to be fair, I don't know if you can really tell, it looks quite, uh, from me just looking it looks quite orangey, the head of the actual fizz has gone practically near enough already, don't know if you can see, may as well just go straight onto the taste, mm. very pa very Pineapple bit, in my opinion. Mango, definitely. Quite a tropical, it is a tropical taste to it. It's quite nice, quite elegant. It's not quite full on you. The taste t tends to lighten more in your mouth the more you try it. So it's not as strong each time. Yeah, very nice that. Very nice, very tropical taste. Lightens on each taste. It's not as strong. Can get quite used to it fairly quickly. In terms of other trop tropical drinks, it's not as strong as in strong hazy taste. If you get what I mean, it um it tends to be quite fruity and it stays <laughs> fruity in terms of tro like tropical taste. It doesn't seem to get any worse. It it tends to stay quite nice and lightened. But it, all in all, it seems it's a very nice drink. I've had this before. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I wouldn't. Again, it's not my type of drink though. Um, I'd rather have a lager beer. Um, again, it's one of those sort of drinks. If you're on holiday, it'd be perfect. Again, beer garden weather, very nice. But again, I still prefer over a beer lager. Ah, uh, yeah. In terms of taste, that's very nice. I definitely uh, the aftertaste lingers quite well. Um, you can get that often bitter, horrible taste afterwards. In terms of IPA tropical flavors, um, but it's quite nice. It it it's basically it feels like you've just had some fruit. Um, like 
pineapple or something, which is, again, it can be quite a funny one, that pineapple in terms of flavoured, but like a mangoish. It's like a mangoish orange type pineapple. Linger. It doesn't feel like you've had a drink. It feels like you've just actually had some fruit. Very nice. All in all, I'd give... I'd give that... A 6 out of 10. Again, it's not my particular drink. Um, something if I went to a bar on holiday, I'd still prefer to have, like if I'm... Like a, like a slash Amstel San Miguel um, type sort of lager beer. But still very nice. Very nice taste. Uh, I think as well and top of that it's one of those where it tastes nice and it's not off-putting in terms of uh, eating or anything like that very nice I think that'd be very nice with a nice meal um, in terms of uh, some drinks you can if you drink you can't eat afterwards or you, you during a meal you can't have that particular drink until you've finished so on but yeah I think that's really nice I'd definitely um, that'd be very nice sat on the beach uh, while eating a nice uh, steak and chips <laughs> I don't know I'm just thinking so. but yeah I'd, I'd give that a 6 out of 10 very nice drink very tropical which is not my particular taste that's to why I'm giving it a 6 instead of higher on my sort of uh, sort of um, table but Still a very nice drink, definitely very nice, just not my sort of drink. That's potentially why I'm not offering it the, the score it potentially deserves, because Tiny Rebel does some very nice drinks, and I'm very much certain I'm going to be trying Tiny Rebel drinks again uh, as this goes along. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's been lovely uh, speaking to you guys again. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the review and you got a bit more out of it and you potentially may want to try this drink um, due to this. Uh, video um, yeah thank you for listening give us a thumbs up subscribe whatnot, and uh, hope you're all safe out there and uh, keep your sense going Ta.